Hi folks! Did you know that Windows 365 Boot and Switch got massive upgrades such as Windows Hello support as well as new branding options? So both Alina, Rinku and Derek are here to tell you everything about it. So let's get started. Hi folks, I'm excited to share that this episode is all around the new Windows 365 boot and switch improvements, such as Windows Hello support and new branding features. But before I start, please make sure to subscribe on our Windows IT Pro YouTube channel to stay up to date about all the latest news about Windows in the cloud. So let's move to our guests. So hi, uh, Rinku, how are you doing? Hello. Hi, I'm hey, doing. Can you, hey, can you introduce yourself real quick to the audience? Sure, Christian. So I'm a senior product manager with Windows. I'm accountable for Windows 365 boot and switch from the Windows perspective. So that's about it. Yeah, thanks, Rinku. And it's been great partnering with you as well on, on these amazing features that really change how you connect to your, your cloud PC directly from within Windows. And you and the team will share more on that in, in just a bit. But before uh, we do so, Alina, can you quickly introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm a PM on the end user experience team uh, and I focus on features around OS integrations such as Windows 365 boot and switch. Yeah, great to have you back, uh, Lena, as well. Uh, a person that is a little new here on the show is uh, Derek that worked on the code actually to write these, uh, these features. So Derek, can you uh, share a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm a software engineer on the Windows 365 team and I work on a boot um, feature on the Windows 365 side. Yeah, great to have you. And we can go super deep in the tag with you, which is fun. And especially what the audience wants to hear as well today. Um, so thanks for the intros, uh, folks. Um, Alina, before we kickstart some demos and show the new experience and such, like, can you highlight a little bit what these new features all include and uh, whether they are in preview and how people potentially can get access as well? Yes, so um, we had started our new year grade, Jan 11th. Uh, we went into public preview with Windows 365 boot and switch. Um, so that's public preview V2. Uh, so there's been some really exciting improvements. So if you remember back uh, in uh, September, we had went generally available with both boot and switch. Um, and so when we did, we we came out with shared mode for Windows 365 boot. Uh, so that's where you have many people um, logging into one device. Great for, uh, you know, shift workers, uh, hot desks. So now we actually came out with a dedicated mode. So that's uh, something that Rinko will go over and share what that looks like, but basically just provides a more personalized experience. You have the username, profile picture, uh, as well as the secure sign-in with Windows Hello. Uh, we also have branding uh, as an option to add for Windows 365 boot. So companies can actually customize the sign-in screen and they can add their logo and their name um, and, and they can even update the lock screen. So we'll show you what that looks like. Um, we added some more improvements in the uh, local settings so you can get to more places from your cloud PC while on your boot device into uh, and you can adjust your local uh, settings from there. Uh, and we added some more improvements around our sign in process. So we'll go over more details in that. And of course, Windows 365 switch um, also had some really awesome improvements. Uh, I'll show you a new disconnect experience. Uh, we've also added better ways to differentiate between uh, local and the cloud PC, uh, and we added frontline support. This is great. And before we jump into some demos, like uh, Rinku, how would you compare like boot and switch as features and customer like business case or scenarios that customers could use those two features for? Like, for example, would switch be a, a perfect scenario for bring your own device or contractors or freelancers? So boot uh, is great when you have a user who mostly works on the cloud PC. You can have a device which is dedicated to just helping them log in straight into their cloud PC, right? So within boot, we have two modes. One is a shared mode, which for example, let's say your a call center, um, you have a call center support uh, going on and the support employees want to log in. 
right? So you'll have different employees coming in for morning shift, afternoon shift. So in shared mode, you know, different use, multiple users can log into the same device. Right. Uh, with the personal mode, you can have a dedicated device assigned to a user in your organization. It is still the enterprise device, but yeah, you can assign it to few users to log in. It is much more personalized. Uh, we have all the uh, passwordless login options like Windows Hello for Business and so on. Right. Now, switch is an option which is for your unmanaged users or like for bring your own device users. So users have to log into their Windows uh, native desktop and then they have to switch. It is a seamless experience as simple as, you know, switching uh, to a different tab, like an all tab kind of an experience. So that's the main difference between boot and switch. Thanks, Rinku, for explaining all those great business scenarios for boot and switch and how they help customers potentially for like bring your own device scenarios. And I really would like to see all those new improvements in action as well. So Rinku, can you share the dedicated mode experience to the audience? Sure, Christian. I'm excited to share the demo of the new uh, dedicated mode. Uh, like I mentioned before, dedicated mode is for your uh, managed users where you can assign a device to a user and the experience is much more personalized. So as you can see in the demo, we have now included Windows Hello for Business where people can authenticate with their face ID, fingerprint ID and so on. All the passwordless login options are now supported. We also have the fast account switcher in case, you know, another user wants to log into this device. They can just click on this other profile option and, you know, quickly log into the system. Uh, users can configure their Wi-Fi, everything from the login screen as well. Right. And uh, as soon as they log in, the experience is personalized to show their display picture and their username once they lock the PC. And as soon as the user authenticates by either entering the password or their face ID, you can see that, you know, they are quickly signed into their cloud PC and are taken to their cloud desktop. Thanks, Rinku, for that demo. And I'm pretty sure you have more in store here. So the demo about like custom branding and such, I think you prepared that as well. Can you show that too? Sure, Christian. So for the shared mode users, we have introduced an option. Uh, where they can now include their enterprise branding. Right now, what you're seeing is the lock screen where a default wallpaper has been set up. So once you dismiss the lock screen, you will be taken to the login screen where you can see the company uh, name and the co uh, company branding and so on. Uh, later, Derek will walk us through how to set this up on Intel. And that's great, Rinku, especially for like frontline workers that have been using shared PC scenarios before, right? To just get that familiar experience for that end user. Right, exactly. So we just saw the boot feature improvements as an end user experience, but I really would like to see how you as an IT admin can configure and enable those experiences on endpoints. So Derek, can you show the Intune guided flow scenario steps? Yeah, of course, Christian. Let's walk into the boot guy scenario demo. As you navigate to the Windows 365 homepage, you'll be presented with various cards that takes you into the boot guidance scenario. And for today's purpose, we'll be going to the public preview path to get the latest features that's available. As you go into the guy scenario, you'll first be presented with an overview of what the guy scenario will do for you. Next, in the basics tab, just like before, you get to pick a prefix name for um, that will be appended to all of the resources that will be created by the guidance scenario. And down below, we now have a boot mode section, which will allow you to pick what mode you want to put your physical devices into. Um, just like mentioned before, we have the shared PC mode and dedicated mode. For today's demo, we'll be using the shared PC mode. Next page is the endpoint updates. At this point, there are no new changes to this page. In the settings page, we have all the same configurations that came out as part of GA. At the very bottom of this page, we have a new personalization section that will allow you to configure and set up your customized company branding content uh, by setting up the company name, company logo, and the lock screen image. All the content you set here will be reflected on your physical boot device and will be available there. In the assignments page, we have the same as before, where you get to either create a new group by giving a name for it or to choose an existing group that will be applied. 
And lastly, we have the review page that will show you all the configuration that you have just selected, uh, including the new boot mode and also the company branding content. And at the bottom of this page, it will show you all the resources the guided scenario we will create for you as part of this flow. As you click Save, all the resources will be deployed by the guided scenario just within a minute or so. And that sums up the whole demo for today's new features. Thanks, Derek. Very insightful. And what is also very insightful is the demo that, Alina, you prepared for the improvements on Switch. So you already highlighted Switch is very convenient for uh, bring on device scenarios, freelancers, and such. But what, do we, what did we do to improve the disconnect experience uh, in, in Switch as part of this new public preview? Yeah, so let me show you the new updates. So uh, we have a better way to disconnect as well as extra indicators that we've added. So when you're in your local device, you can connect to your cloud PC as you hover over your task view there. Uh, of course, uh, just a reminder, you can always click on wait on local PC and that's uh, pretty neat. Um, once the connection is ready, you'll get an indicator that says you can get into it, but it's pretty quick. So once the end user is in the cloud PC session, um, and then they decide that they actually want to go back to their local session. What they do is they'll hover over that same task view, click on local desktops, and then you can see that little indicator right there. It says local PC that lets you know you're there. If you want to disconnect, you can right click and click disconnect directly from the task view on your cloud PC card. So it adds a little bit of extra convenience and you don't have to go back to your cloud PC in order to disconnect. Yeah, that's really cool, Lena. And I really like the fast swipe experience and as well the, the wallpaper she used as well. It's very uh, zoo-ish uh, with all those animals floating around. Um, so uh, one thing I wanted to ask you real quick, and there are improvements coming as well on the like connection speed and log on duration. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. We're always working on trying to log on as soon as possible. Although I do want to highlight once you have connected, going back and forth uh, to from your local to your cloud PC is like under a second. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely improving that log on experience. Okay. Amazing demos, folks. Like really a pleasure to yeah, see these demos and as well how the yeah, features reflect new ways of connecting to the cloud PC. So before we wrap up, how can people learn more about these boot and switch V2 experiences that we highlighted in this episode, uh, Lena? Yeah, you can get all the details at aka.ms slash Windows 365 boot preview and both boot and switch details will be there for you. Awesome. If people want to stay in touch with, with all of you and provide some feedback and suggestions or ideas and such, like um, Rinku, how can people stay in touch with you? Do you have like LinkedIn or something that they can, can follow you on? Yep. So I'm available on LinkedIn as well as X. My profile name is uh, same as my name, which is Rinku Stephen. Awesome. And Alina, what about you? Yep. Yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn at Alina Luthra. And Derek? Yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn as well. Um, so just search for my name, Derek Liu, and you can also find me at the Windows IT Pro blog post. You can send me messages there. Yeah, I've seen you there helping a lot of users. So uh, really uh, appreciate you doing that on behalf of the community. And yeah, with that, I really, really like to yeah thank you all for being a guest on this show. I really want to have you back maybe for a V3. Uh, set of kind of new features that we are prepping behind the scenes to improve the experiences even more. And with that, I would like to thank you as well for watching as well uh, as a new guest or a reoccurring guest on the show. Please stay up to date about all the latest news of Winners in the Cloud at aka.ms slash Winners in the Cloud. So you can find all the previous episodes there as well and stay up to date about all the news of Windows 365. So thanks for watching and hope to see you back.